Hey, welcome back to Min Max. I'm Leo Vader. Dan Reichert is with me. Hello. This is our final of finals of our Hitman 3 Challenge series. Uh, if you have not caught up on this series, it's all in one playlist on our channel, youtube.com slash minmaxshow. It's on the front page there. All the videos, all the challenges from across both our channels. We've been giving each other very fun Hitman challenges for the past, like, month and a half. And it's been a treat. Yeah, pretty much since release. Uh, you know, we took a little break in the middle there, but uh, we have done all of the, the main Hitman levels now that we're doing this one. Yes, Mendoza. the One of the biggest, one of the best. My favorite of this package, honestly. I haven't even seen this area here. Like, I, I do think this is the coolest map. This is really awesome. There's a lot to it. What yes. is your challenge for me today, my friend? Well, Leo, um, like your challenge to me, uh, you will also need to be a waiter at the end of this one. But until the very finale of this mission, uh, I will allow you to be any outfit you want here. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Leo, don't you worry. <laughs> don't worry. I've got it under control. <laughs> I haven't started here. I didn't know what to expect, but I'm loving it. There we go. Nice. Okay. That was actually the whole challenge. You just did it. <laughs> <laughs> so you said I will need to be a waiter eventually. At the very end. So there will be a grand finale uh, to, to finish this thing off. And, and that's that's the thing that matters, the grand finale. So, but to get everyone there, the grand finale is going to be you as a waiter uh, serving a couple a very nice chilled wine tasting party. It's a little date. They're having a, a wine tasting date. And you, Leo, are going to be the one that makes it possible for them. Cute. Now, here are some things you are going to need. If you are near the entrance right now, when the, the level normally starts, like where you meet with Diana and stuff, you're going to want to go up there to the security room. You're going to get uh, CX remote explosives. So what you're going to do is you're going to get CX remote explosives from that security room. You are going to get three satchels of gunpowder from the attic in the house. Okay? Okay. So that is uh, four explosives, one of which can remote detonate all of them. You're going to get three bottles of wine. You choose. You are the waiter. You are the one putting this together. You're the one that's going to get the Yelp review. So just make this a good experience for the couple. <laughs> now, you need to find a couple. Uh, so you can have oh. either the two targets, which I don't know if lore-wise they're actually a couple or not, but just for these purposes, <laughs> you are getting them. Okay. So you, you need to get a couple alive in the freezer. Have you been to the freezer? Yes. Down right. by the, where the so, wine tour is, that freezer. Correct. So you need to get a couple, and it can be the two targets. That might actually be the easiest based on what I've, I've been talking to the Discord about uh, what this is going to be like, and, and MM Gant actually pulled it off. It sounds like the targets might be the best or easiest way to do it. But anybody at the party that you look at, and, and it just seems like they're a couple, uh, you know, you can, uh, that's your discretion, okay? You can get them. That might be harder, though. So you get a couple into the wine freezer. You are going to bring them a bottle of wine. And again, they can be knocked out. They can't be dead. And you're going to drop all the explosives in the freezer. Okay. Then you are going to lock the freezer door behind them. So inside you will have a couple and four explosives. One okay. remote, three gunpowders. And you're going to give them their chilled wine tasting uh, with an explosive finish there. You are going to blow them all up inside the freezer. Well, that sounds wonderful. And notice I said three bottles of wine. The reason being, there's the one you need to leave them with in the in the freezer. The other two are the only two things that you are allowed to knock them out with if you knock them out. Okay. So Got it. you can't be throwing anything at them that is not a bottle of wine. You don't have to use those two other bottles. Okay. But if you're going to knock, if you're going to use an item on them, it has to be a wine bottle. And I know that's a lot, so I've got it all written out here. If you need me to reiterate anything, let me know. It is a lot. So you've dressed it all up a lot. Yes. But it is a dragging bodies across the map challenge, right? <laughs> well, much. that's why that's why I've heard that um, the targets might be easier, because I think the woman target does go down there on the tour. She does. So, yeah, yes. bringing them separately. Yes. Uh, the video I saw from my Discord of the challenge, uh, the, the person killed 25, uh, 25 NPCs or guards or whatever. So so it's a lot of clearing out rooms so that you can drag people. Through. Yes, and I don't know the path necessarily of the guy. I just know this is possible. So the, the woman sounds like she might be a little easy to get in there. 
the guy might require a little more. Okay. Well, it sounds like a good yes. tough one. Adam yes. Walker, if you want to start that prediction, let's see what Chad thinks. So and... yes, here you're going to want to get the uh, the three gunpowders in the attic first. Right. This attic is loaded. Yes, it is. I was thinking of lots of different options there. Yes. I tried for a while to do a weird William Tell challenge where you drag one of the bodies onto the roof and you put an apple on his head and you snipe it from like across the map. <laughs> um, but it was really hard to get the apple to kind of stay uh, where uh, where I wanted it to. And I don't know if you saw a clip I tweeted out of uh, a guy just flying through the air that exploded like into the horizon, basically. Great um, launch. That, that was from some tests as well. I did some things where I was going to try to get you to launch. Remember the old Bozo the Clown show where the kids had to throw the ping pong balls into the buckets? I was going to do that with you having to launch bodies into the wine things in the wine making room. Uh, but that's just too, that, that's too physics-y. Like, How old are you? Uh, I'm 73 years old. Okay. Uh, I was one of the original Bozos, actually. Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's it's where I learned showmanship. Activity. Yes, yes. See? Very nice. Uh, did you get the three gunpowders? I, I, I did. I did. Not pay attention. Okay, so you got the three gunpowders. You'll want the CX uh, that is at the beginning of the level. Yes, I will get that as well. While I'm here, I am going to go pick out a nice vintage. Yeah, put a bunch of wine in your pants. Well, if you're going to describe it with such little grace... I guess any time you poetry. drink wine, you're kind of technically putting wine in your pants because it's going to wind up down there. And then you're putting it out of your pants. It's true, but there's a, there's a period of a while that you just got a bunch of wine in your pants. <laughs> it's such a good point. I know. No That's one's talking it. about it. <laughs> oh, a nice Pinot. Nice, nice. I'd love to get all three types just to really flex, but that's very not necessary. Well, I mean, hey, it's the last one, Leo. You got to impress. It is the last one. And chat looks pretty split on will, whether I will do this or not. Mm, mm. And I got to tell you, I'm going to take my sweet time. Yes, please do. Please do. Because I, I blew it on mine. So there's a lot riding on you right now. <laughs> That's true. Ooh, discovered bathroom. I've never been in this bathroom. No, oh, weird. Are you keeping all that wine in your pants? Where it belongs. Yeah, it's expensive. It's not unreasonable. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Okay, so yeah, keep in mind room. any couples here are fair game. But I have to if get them to the freezer. The yes. And again, I'm not gonna be picky with, with couples or whatever. Like NPCs that are like standing by each other and talking and stuff, you know, at your discretion can be a couple. But it has to be from like the party environment. You can't like grab two from like down real like two workers or something Why you know? no workers dress them up exactly they need to be party goers right okay so the <clears throat> security room this is the one you're talking about i presume mm, no 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 no, no, no. we're talking about different things uh it's all the way to the left and oh, down okay that and actually down uh in the left one? yeah that that is where you're going oh okay i can see why it made sense for me to get that at the start but my start was sure. nowhere near where i expected it to be yeah yeah i'd never seen that one yeah it's interesting you wonder how 47 got there have you messed around with this explosive stuff at all because i did a bunch of real fun tests with it and you can really launch some people yeah no i've only seen clips on the subreddit and stuff oh I, uh, I was trying to do stuff where it's like launch the entire band over the railing uh, at, with one explosion. That was fun. I found it very easy to launch any one of them like into the horizon, basically. If you do it to the guy up at the mic stand, uh, the force and the physics kind of like screwed up and he just like wraps himself around the mic stand and it's hilarious and glitchy. But uh, it's too con inconsistent for that to be the challenge. Yeah, that's tricky. We did a... Do some good explosive stuff in the Dartmoor challenge, if people caught that. Yes. Yeah, well, that earned you a pizza. <laughs> it cost me not eating that pizza. The pizza actually was not that bad. It didn't look that bad. It was unique. It was unique. And oh my gosh, how perfect. Hey guys, perfect. I'm in that the works great. right outfit for this. Oh, you left your, your work items. Oh my god, yep. Oh, that's mine. So embarrassing. All right. Steve, Brad, excuse Sorry. me. Great. 
Sorry. Well, you have all the explosives then, and you have several wines. Is that correct? I have all three wines. All then you've got everything types. you need. You just need to get them into that freezer and uh, get a waiter's outfit. The waiter thing can be the very end. I think it's just the getting the folks in the freezer that's going to be the real tough part. Yes. I'm thinking about doing the opportunity that mm. leads the lady target into the fridge. But gosh. That's smart. Not sure and how to get throw, the other target anywhere near that. Well, you can throw or hit with a bottle of wine uh, to knock her out if you'd like. Right, but for her to yeah. get down there. Right, you're going to have to the, the opportunity thing. But just once you have her there, because um, it's a wine tasting, there's going to be several different wines involved here. Of course. But only one's the exploding wine. It's like exploding golf balls. It's a whole like novelty industry. Flaming shots, exploding wine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you take someone to a fancy restaurant and act like it's going to be a real nice night, and then, oops, it's all over. You know, everyone's closed. It, everyone laughs. Yeah. Yep, the cameras are over there. Yep, yep. Ashton is here. Did you watch uh, any of that punked reboot with Wilmer Valderrama exclusively <laughs> on Queeby? That's not a real sentence that came out of your head. <laughs> it, came, it was ripped from the headlines, I assure you. <laughs> I was already laughing before you said Quibi. <laughs> Oh boy, no, I have not. Have you? Did You're you have lost. Quibi? No, <laughs> I haven't seen a second of it. Oh man, isn't someone buying like all that Quibi stuff and putting it up on like an actual streaming platform? Yes. I think they had lax uh, content plans anyway, or you know, contracts. Yeah. To the point where people got it all back in a year anyway. Makes you wonder if it was all just some rich person <laughs> turning money into more money by losing money. Sure. Scheme. I, I did find all those articles really fascinating because, like, I don't know, it always fascinates me to hear about, like, billionaires that are so, like, the hubris of thinking they understand the entertainment landscape. And then as soon as they start talking about it, you can tell, like, oh, you have no idea how people consume content these days. And then, you know, it was kind of a fascinating thing to watch fall apart. For sure. So knocking other people out, it has to be with the wine? No, um, it's just the targets. Just so the targets. So I can knock anybody else anything. out with anything. Anything, any outfit, you're you're good to go. It's just whoever you, whoever the couple is, needs to be knocked out with the wine. And when I blow them up, I have to be the waiter. That's correct. And there has to be wine in the freezer with them, and they have to be alive. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, I just stuck to his back. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> meant to bonk that All guy right. with a brick, but I snapped the first guy's neck. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Well, no witnesses. Obviously. So I'm thinking that these folks here are going to be my biggest problem when I have to drag one target across the whole room. Yeah, and again, I don't know when they get down to this area or what the closest they get is. So that is, you can cross the bridge if you want to after you've done the, the woman part, but it's up to you. Why don't I try and do the wine opportunity first to for the lady target? I see, uh, I see people in the chat saying, poor Ron Funches when it comes to the Quibi stuff. And it's like, Ron has directly said this on Twitter before, but it's like, they paid a ton of money. Like, he got a ton of money and got to do a little show and stuff, but he has no, there is no poor Ron about that. He uh, <laughs> he had a good time and made a lot of money. So, yeah, he's, he's fine, folks. Right on. There yeah. is, yeah, generally a lot of capital being thrown around. Oh, yes. And stuff like that. Where's the cool guy, Corvo Black? The cool, handsome guy. Everyone Does likes. he walk around with her? Yeah. I think so. Man, this is a good outfit to have. Yeah, yeah. Carte Blanche. Wow. Look at mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Carte Blanche. The French? Does that mean clean slate? Blank check. Oh. I think. Is it? Cart is... Hmm. The French? <laughs> Chat? But, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, are HUDs going on? Just turning on the mission story guidance so it points me to Corvo Black. In okay. the interest of a better stream. Of course. Of course. Please let me know what Chat says. 
Uh, it is a blank cart. Oh, the literal translation is blank card. Sure. Right. Yeah, that works. Okay, I'm not rushing into this. Oh, that's that's Corvo. That's Corvo. The handsome guy. It's a hell of like. a name. Uh, do you see me get in here? What are he you gonna did. tell? It's not illegal. It's not illegal. Oh my! Is he I following mean, me in here? That's perfect. Now nah, that that should be illegal. Oh, you won't find me. <laughs> You'll never find me. I'm going faster. <laughs> <laughs> I really just don't want to hit him front on because it's going to be so much louder. <laughs> if uh, if 47 just fell over uh, after going in circles for a long time, that'd be a great Easter egg. That feels like a Metal Gear thing to do. Yeah, for sure. I lost him and he made him spot me again, by the way. That's gonna hurt. Okay. <laughs> you saw it. But you I didn't, didn't see. it was louder if you hit him in the face. Oh, jeez. Okay. Is he, he coming to tell me? Tree. Is he reporting it to the man who perpetrated it? <laughs> well, I think that was something of a perfect crime. Yeah. No witness. Yeah. Nothing illegal on the books. Yeah. Got some nice shoes. Try to explain what I did, waiter. Good luck. Yeah. Bring around the Rosie for 30 <laughs> minutes and smash him with a can. No one will believe right. you. So, I have not done this opportunity, so what happens here? Hello there. Welcome. Wait, am I doing the right one even? Because I was one at the wine tour. Yes. Joining the tour as either the guy giving it or as Corvo, I think should be, I think is what's going on? So the Yates Winery, Corvo Black. They're but saying you need, need his outfit anyway, so that's probably good. Okay. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I Wonderful. Trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy that. This is such a great final real level. Yes. For the trilogy. I, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, oh, you mean for the whole trilogy? Yeah. I think it, so. It I mean, the, of... the twist of, like, Diana being here, who's been in your voice for so long, but now she's this character who you have all these interesting dialogues with. You know, where you're constantly talking to each other, like, through all these different opportunities, there are different times you're trying to give her information subtly, and it's just a really great opportunity to have them interact in-game, which they, like, never have. I think I just missed that because, like, I didn't even really put together, like, I didn't even really recognize the voice or remember that he talked to someone. Like, I'm so <laughs> disconnected with the lore of this game. Like, people in the chat were like, that's the lady who's been here, like person the whole time that gives you missions i was like oh she's like the colonel campbell like i never even like if you told me that agent 47 never talked to anyone in his earpiece throughout the entire series i'd be like oh yeah i guess that's right wow interesting yeah i mean i'm pretty disconnected from the lore too but she is the only character as far as i'm concerned i did not recognize her when i played this level <laughs> wow or the voice i'm looking in your direction hold on all right so that's one of them i'll track him down that's a boy we try and bring hey, him back infiltrate the Got grape fields. That was a bit rude. <laughs> yes. Yes, it was. Oh, but not oh, like that. It, Corvo can't be in there. I've got to really infiltrate. I see why it said that now. Why does he need to go in there? Oh, is this... Is see why he's not... On tour? Yes, but the winemaker isn't here, and I've got to see why. This seems dangerous. I haven't done this before. The only time I did this... Oh, boy. I was dressed as the winemaker, and I gave the... Gave the tour myself. Nah. I think the opportunities are very uh, fun and interesting when I've done them. I just think that I so prefer to make my own chaos in these games that I just, I so rarely go after the opportunities, you know? I love that about this game. It fits your play style. Because lots of people, the openness of Hitman is intimidating. Yeah. And they just want to be guided through something that pays off as like a linear thing to do. That's exactly what I don't want from the series. I and mean, that's why right. I think I really didn't like the train level is because it just didn't feel like a Hitman level to me. Totally. Yeah, I think it rocks that they have that f such different play styles for different people. Yeah. 
the chat asking if I played the old old games or just the new trilogy. No, I played uh, I played every. I mean, I was reviewing. I reviewed Blood Money, and maybe the one before that. But I've played every Hitman, even the weird like pre-order sniper ones. Interesting. The mobile sniper ones? Not the mobile ones. Fake no. fan. Fake fan. Yeah, Turn on him, chat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hear that faucet. Come on. Come on, baby. Hear that faucet for daddy. <laughs> Come on. It's a faucet. Oh, Hitman Go. I played Hitman Go. Yeah, Hitman Go is good. Oh, yeah. I think nobody will see me here anyway, but gosh, it's riskier than I'd like. Yeah. They were kind of on that Go thing for a bit. Like, there's a Lara Croft Go, and then a Hitman Go. Is there a third one? Is there like a Rayman Go? <laughs> I don't know. Rayman Go. Bye bye. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Was it. Why Hitman and. So I'm trying to think. It's Hitman is WB. No. I'm so confused. Lara Croft was. Is now Square Enix. Hitman has always been developed by IOI, but Warner Brothers. I, how did go get? Oh, I'm confused. You did your best. Yeah. Now I need to harvest these grapes. This is an involved mission story. We're gonna get our money's worth on this final challenge. You got two knives. Not a body. Who cares? Oh yeah, I didn't realize I already had a grape knife. <laughs> I don't know. I think I, I mean, wouldn't can't any knife be a grape knife? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I would think so. You just can't cut these down though, unless you have a grape knife specifically. It's like I have steak knives, but they work for a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> oh really? I haven't tried it. Oh yeah, you can totally you can get an apple right in half with it. That's cool. Mm, spread butter with it. Maybe I could try one meal that's not steak. <laughs> no, don't do that. No. I did make steak just last night. On what? On what? How do you do, you do a, do a broil or a flambe or a, a pan or a pot or Yep, seared it on the did... cast iron, broiled it in the oven, made a oh, little okay. garlic herb mixture. And we had it with some nice uh, cam and, cam gonzola or something. It was a combination of two cheeses and it was pretty good. Is gonzola the same as chickpeas? No, it's part of gorgonzola, which is another type of cheese. What's chickpeas the same as with a different word? Garbanzo. Yeah, garbanzo, that's garbanzo. right. Garbanzo and gorgonzola, that's right. I learned right. that just recently. And I'm happy to share my information with you. <laughs> Here are your grapes. I thought Gaiera was uh, the name of a cheese. And, uh, and one of my regulars is named Age Gaiera. And what the hell is... <laughs> That's the guy who used to be wearing these clothes. Sprinting by. Nobody was worried about that. <laughs> Another streaker in the vineyard. But I thought for like months and months and months that Age Gaiera in my chat, I thought his name meant like, oh, it's like an aged cheese. And I brought that up to Bianca once and she was like, Gaiera's not a cheese. So maybe I was thinking of Gorgonzola? Gaiera? Gaiera the yeah. You might have been thinking of Gruyere. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. What's a Gaiera? I don't know. It sounds like Gruyere without the R. Huh. Well, I don't think his name is cheese-based anymore. I just don't know what it is now. Hmm. Would that all our names were cheese-based? Hmm. That'd be what Pepper cheese? Jack. Yeah, that's a great name. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, Leo, so, uh, first off, what would your cheese name be? Camembert. A play on Camembert. I've never even heard of that. That sounds nice. Thank you. I, My uh, friend goes by Gorgonzol on Discord. That's good. For, for With an E on the end? Just Z-O-L. No, okay. More Star wars -ian. One time, uh, my sister was dating a guy named Mitch, and me and my dad were at a bar waiting for my sister and Mitch to come to the bar. And they just started dating, and so my dad was like, oh, remind me before they get here, what's the boyfriend's name again? And to screw with my dad, I said his name was Cody, and because the guy's name is Mitch, which doesn't sound anything like Cody. But my dad thought I said Colby, and so all night, 
Well, by the time he got there, he got it mixed up, and all he had in his head was cheese. And so all night and for the years my sister dated this guy, my dad called him Monterey Jack. His name was Mitch, and my dad, I don't. I think to this day, doesn't know his name was Mitch. I think he misheard me say Cody, and that somehow turned into him being Monterey Jack forever. Well, yeah, because he remembers it's cheese-based, but not yeah. exactly which cheese, so he throws out a nickname. And Jack is in there, so yeah, he's Monterey Jack now. That's well played. <laughs> it's a good counter to your prank. <laughs> yes. I don't think he was trying to be funny, though. I think that's actually just what he called him. <laughs> <laughs> my dad used to do a thing uh if he was about to introduce two friends of his like at a bar if he knew like oh guy from friend group a and guy from friend group b we're gonna meet each other for the first time he would tell them both separately like oh hey friend a you're gonna meet friend b but just so you know he's really he's kind of hard of hearing uh, especially in a bar situation so you're really gonna have to speak up and then you just sit back and watch these two guys just yell at each other <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> made him laugh. <laughs> These big uh, tanks. These I've gone back and forth on how funny pranks are in general. Uh, and I'm at a point where I enjoy them. You know, pranks I, for no I'm, reason. I'm forth. Uh, yeah, I'm full on forth. I never went back. I uh, Pranks are a good thing. Do you think on your deathbed you'll say, man, there's no reason I should have given all those people that wrong information? There's not a chance in hell <laughs> I'll ever regret anything. No. Okay. No way. <laughs> Have you ever regretted anything? Nah. nah. I'm pretty happy with decisions. Right on. How about you? What's your greatest life regret? Not in, not buying one Bitcoin. Yeah. It was ten dollars. Yeah. Um. Somebody. Uh. Somebody in my Discord, uh, Chubby Pencil, mentioned that. In like 2010 or 2011, they had like $40 worth of Bitcoin on a hard drive, and the hard drive died. And he said, like, he just kind of has to force himself to forget that every once in a while. It's like, oh, man, that sucks. Because, like, that would be like a lot of money right now. That's interesting. Oh, we're not watching Chubby. Sorry to bring up memories. <laughs> sure, sure. Everyone talks about I did lose a hard drive, so maybe not backing up on that hard drive is my yeah. biggest regret. That's the confusing thing. Well, that's one of many confusing things about Bitcoin is uh, the wallet thing. And then like the fact that you can just have it on a hard drive and if the hard drive dies, it's just there. They can't just be on a Google Drive or something. Like it's just, I think like with Robin Hood and stuff, I think it makes it way more uh, easy to do that stuff. But it seems like Bitcoin has been very, very complicated for most of the time. This is where we start the wine. I bought $150 worth of it uh, recently. Just figured like, eh, whatever. Uh, and it's now it's $230 now. So it's like, oh man, I can see how people get obsessed with this, but I don't have any idea what I'm doing. I know. I've thought about that, but I feel like I just would be, yeah, exactly. Obsessed with it, staring at it on my phone all the time. Rather than That's the, the thing. fulfilling Twitter scrolling I normally do. Exactly. That makes you feel good inside in your soul. Do you just love. Yeah. Yeah, I, during the whole, like, GameStop, like, the height of the GameStop stuff, I just, like, eh, shits and giggles, let's throw in, like, 50 bucks or whatever and just see what happens. And then I noticed, like, Robinhood, like, the apps and stuff now, they just have, like, a live ticker. Like, you know, I've got stocks, investments and stuff now, and I'll check the ticker, like, once a day and just see the general movement of the market. But when it's a live green or red line that's going up and down throughout the day, it is hypnotic to look yeah, at that thing. it's like an idle game. Yeah, it's like it's like watching a horse race or something. It's like, what's oh, going up? It's going up? It's going up? Oh, it's going down? It's going down? It's like, oh, I need to stop doing this immediately. Yeah, that seems very problematic for me. Yes. This is interesting. I did this opportunity, but again, I did it as the winemaker. And so I pretty much led her right to the freezer, and now it is going a super different direction, and I worry that I've... We're done here. So she's going to go up into the dinner now? Into, like, the fancy rich person's secret dinner? I guess. Oh, almost forgot. Do they go up? Because I know this story mission has you get the fancy wine. So I wonder, but she'll probably go up there before you do that. Yeah. Mm, well, hey, any couple will do. This is true. Yep. Important to remember. Yeah, but it's going to be hard yep, right. getting them from the that's, party. That's not going to work well. All right. Well, what happens if I follow this? And get you the bottle of wine. All that matters, hey, as well, you can do that. You can become the wine guy. You can go up there. Uh, there's a lot of people in that room. Flowers. 
Mr. Yates wants the 1945 Grand Paladin brought up to the house. Special occasion. Huh. Yeah, I think um, when I was asking questions, I should have gone and asked a question about the freezer. I think that was my opportunity to do that. Mm. Well, so is... Are you going to go for a party-going couple now? I think I'll have to go for a party-going couple. Oh, boy. So what's the play here? Are you going to start clearing the area out first? I'm going to mm, keep an eye on my couple first. Try to find a good line down there. Yes, this might exactly. be. This seems like a good way to get down the there. Little back entrance. Mm-hmm. Maybe you can find a couple doing some hanky panky in the bathroom. Ooh la la. Mm-hmm. If if only. Oh. 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 No, I'm down here. Oh hey, boy. This is hey, yeah. actually You're quite fine. Understood? Okay, understood. <laughs> Not. Please don't. I didn't understand it actually. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. I know what you're thinking. Don't do it. Oh. Oh, I wish you didn't fire that bullet. The banana assassin returns. I think you're. Oh, people are interested in what you're doing. You don't have the thing on your hood saying if you still have Silent Assassin. <laughs> I don't. I'm actually not too curious about that. Okay. Things are under control. This is how People I would find your body, it. but that could have nothing to do with you. Okay, so here is... Oh, boy. You know what I'm thinking, Dan? W what? What oh, if I find a couple? Oh, shit. I can, yeah, I can send to the bathroom. All right, and again, Lucy Goosey on couple. Sir, hello. It's 2021. It's true. Any two people can be together. Absolutely. The what distinction is... being party goers. Right. As long as they're party goers. It is only yes. 2021. <laughs> These are two glasses. Oh my. Okay. It's true. I'm starting. I'm thinking. I'm brain blasting. <laughs> if I become the waiter and I serve the drinks here, uh -huh. then I can choose who drinks them, right? I point people I think out you, and I say you serve. prompted like you hit Y right to like yeah. serve drink mm -hmm. that's how it normally works and these two mm -hmm. they're looking like a couple to me they look a little perched oh can I get you a drink they, they, they look like a couple they uh, they could absolutely fit the bill here okay but will they go to that bathroom <laughs> it's the closest it's the closest but sometimes they go to the garbage can when they want to piss me off that's true. When you got a rumbling in your butt or in your guts, you go to the closest uh, hole. My God, Dan. <laughs> I don't mean to get all medical on here. Oop. I think a... Why? Why? I guess I'm just not allowed there. That makes sense. That's fine. <laughs> oh, uh, Age Guy Era is in the chat saying, to set the record straight, Age Guy and Era were characters I made up when I was 14. But if anyone wants to think Guy Era is a cheese, that's fine. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, you're the Age Cheese Guy, Age Guy Era. Have a good one. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> okay, I want a waiter outfit now. I'm ready. Or, you mm -hmm. know, maybe I should go get my really good outfit back and clear the room with that. I think that's what I'll do first. Get my good outfit, clear the route, get the waiter, drug the drinks. You know what I'd love you to do right now, Leo? What? Do, do a save, not for purposes of saves coming, but in case this falls apart, you have a lot of explosives on you that we could end this series with style. Right on. Good thinking ahead. Thank you. My old digs. Wait, is this my right digs? No. This is my is winery digs? digs. Is no. digs a clothes thing? Yes. It is? It is. I was unaware. I don't know cool clothes stuff. Do you know drip? I've heard of that because of a song involving a wrestler and his drip. So yes, I was aware of that thanks to... Migos? Migos? Are you watching? <laughs> Migos? Offset, are you in the chat? I think you only have two of the three Migos. 
Ah. Uh, did I ever tell you I was with my dad in a VIP booth at a Migos concert in Las Vegas? No. He uh, dragged it was you part there? Of the prize package. <laughs> it was part of the prize package for the Taco Bell wedding. And my dad uh, just can't handle any music that was made after like 1986. And so uh, it was us at this VIP booth in front of a bunch of new NBA draft picks. It was like a, like, a, like a rich person area. So we were all very out of place, not knowing the Migos and not being rich guys or athletes or anything. And uh, my dad was yelling. He was drunk uh, about just like, Nobody in this entire place has any talent. There's no one in here. Ronnie Van Zant from Leonard Skinner yes. has more talent in his little finger than anyone in this room. Go off. And then at one point, he was just yelling. He was standing in front of a divider that was made of glass. And he said, if Sweet Home Alabama came on right now, I would get an erection so hard it would shatter this glass. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> And a bottle of Jack Daniels was $600 there, a normal bottle of Jack Daniels. And I was forced to accept all this as part of the prize package and had to pay tax on all of this. Oh, my God. Winning a prize is uh, a silly, fun thing, but also the taxes are extremely real. It's so funny how the taxes on that bottle are more than it costs. Yes. Regularly. Yes. <laughs> I can't go through here anymore. I know, you know what sucks is I know the key card is right on the other side. I thought it was. I did this too. I came up here once and I was like, wait, why was I allowed to come up here? But I can't go back. Yeah, huh. Well, this guy could be trouble, so. Yeah. Oh, and hopefully it's a key card. Style. Yeah. Is 47 the kid from Bully? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> what is that kid's name? Is it Jimmy, Jimmy Neutron? Jimmy Neutron. Yes, you got it. <laughs> okay, was it Jimmy? It was Jimmy. Jimmy Hopkins or something? That sounds about right. Jimmy Hopkins. Yeah, that's what Burger says. Okay, great. That game is awesome. I would love to play that again sometime. Me too. Scholarship Edition. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I would love to. Yep. I played through it on. Uh, I played the original. I think I reviewed the original. And then I. I think I played the Wii and 360 versions as well. The Wii one I fell off on because the gimmicky motion stuff didn't do much for me, but scholarship on 360 was good. And Steam now. Yes, yes. Yeah, I just love the passage of time and the like holiday mm -hmm. events. Yes, over the pumpkin the stuff. Year. And oh, it's so, Such a so fun good. The side right stories now. are fun. It's just, oh man, I love that game. Can't believe there are more so games funny. about being in school like that. I know, I know. And it's so funny that I got all that controversy too before it came out about like, oh, it's going to be a, the Grand Theft Auto killing hookers people are going to now encourage you to be a bully. And it's like, <laughs> if you play the game, the story is just so endearing and nice even, you know? Yeah, totally. Like it's one, of, it's like one of these sweeter Rockstar games, I would say. Easily. Okay, I'm back here. I've got the route. Here's the key card I should have just picked up and saved a lot of trouble. I don't think it's anybody's natural route to come back here. But there's, hmm, okay. And so if anyone did come out here, they'd be pursuing you anyway. So it doesn't matter if you have yes. bodies askew, right? Right. Um. So then I would be going through this room. Hello, fellas. Got any places to dump a body around here? Oh, there's plenty. There is plenty. And there's my favorite kind, which is you just dumping them off a ledge. Mm hmm Silent attack. <laughs> Ooh, I double like drag. The... Dragging the shotgun. This is tactical. Oh, nice. Right in the crotch there, yeah. Um, I like how the soda cans just shatter when you hit someone, because that just doesn't happen. Like, even when a soda can explodes, it's always in, like, two chunks at most, you know? It doesn't turn into nothing. Or, or just, like, dust, like you hit someone with a, a bar of chalk. Right. Again, I'm taking my sweet time with this challenge. I want it to be Please just do. right. Please do. Please do. I wound up on the short side, so. Making up for it. Never know when you'll need a dongle. Get as many dongles and keys as you can. This is looking but like a pretty good path. I think you're doing quite well. Thank you. Can I eliminate this guy by pushing him into these grapes? No. Yeah, they're pretty soft, you know. See, what I'm thinking is when you push that guy into the grinder... Uh -huh. Nobody saw. They did not, so I think you're totally clear on that front. 
cool. Hey, you man. You seem to turn around naturally. Like, take a smoke break by that. Yeah. I think there's something in the Grape Crusher, and it's named you! Thanks. Nice. Thank you. One less? I don't know why they picked me as the voice actor for 47. I don't think it really fits, but... There It was game. a real David Hayter keeper situation. Right. Yeah. One of them. Why don't you just go over by that box? Well, they might have heard you. I wonder what that was. I wonder what that was. Why don't you go, maybe go over by the box, check it out. I forgot you can do that. The, That's... like, stealth shot thing. It's rarely <laughs> useful, because, you know, so often going for Silent Assassin, but it's one of my favorite animations in the game. Cool sound. Yeah. Game's really got uh, satisfying, like, challenge pop-ups. They got that figured out. This game has really great ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All, that, all those noises your brain loves to hear. Oh, yeah. They know what they're doing. Are you going to have to clear out everyone in this room, you think? I don't see how I wouldn't <laughs> have to. <laughs> but, honestly... Compared to what I was prepared to do, it seems doable. I think I'm going to have to lure people away one by one. Or a big explosion in the middle of the assembly line. If I were a real baller, I would do a Are tactical you? fire alarm. Mm -hmm. But I just don't know which direction they would run. And does that affect the party? And does that affect the party? Well, this would be yeah. once I get the bodies to this room, is what I'm thinking. I see, I see. So you've already got them here. I gotcha. But it's going to be risky to leave one body because somebody's going to bag it up. Yes. Hmm. Which is why the lady thing would have been optimal, but not possible now. I think I'm going to lure them one by one with this forklift alarm. So you better have some more good stories lined up. Oh, what do you want to hear a story about? Something you wish you knew when you were my age. Hmm. You're, uh, 20? 27. Okay. Um. That's a good question. I mean, I was a, I was a dumbass, but I'm just trying to think of anything actionable that I would have changed. Probably buy Bitcoin, but that's only if you're 27 <laughs> when I was 27, which I don't know if you're going to be able to pull that off. I, I Look, you're a very talented guy. I just don't think you can do that. Thank you. Uh, okay, so Lady Heard fighting. Just need that guy not to be able to be woken up. Oh, this is stupid. That's... Oh. Don't let him shoot that gun. Oh, oh I'm so lucky. Oh my god. Oh, I'm the luckiest motherfucker alive. Jeez. No, she saw that? That's well, fine, they don't know it's you yet, right? I don't think so. Okay, well, to be safe, I'll go gouch mode. And I'm gonna back off from this whole situation and watch this play out. Okay. But I'm glad I got rid of this guard anyway. He was going to be troubled. This is all. This is all good for you. I love it. Ooh. Ooh. I guess one thing I would do if I could start at 27 again is uh, get more of a head start on learning production stuff. Because I figured at 27, I was a game informer and I was just writing and I was doing like, I was appearing on like replay and all that stuff. And, but Hanson did all the editing and everything. I just, it was a great, I had done plenty of video editing and stuff before, but like I just saw it as a luxury that like, oh, I'd go in there, I make some fart jokes for 30 minutes and then Hanson edits it and I don't have to do some anything. Some good fart jokes. Um, they, were, they were the best. Uh, thank you. Um, but now that I'm a solo act here uh, and I am doing the production stuff, I'm learning that I actually love it. 
And really? I wish I, oh yeah, I think it's amazing. Well, I think back, like I always loved editing comedy and editing videos back in like high school and college. So I just kind of wish I wouldn't have uh, just fallen into the like, I'm the guy who writes things and appears on things. You know, I wish I would have sure. done more. Because I'm, I'm learning stuff super duper fast now, but I think I'd have even more uh, if I'd started earlier. Right on. What would you tell yourself at my age? <laughs> Stop. 9-11. I'm kind of got the timeline confused here. I'm sorry. So you I mean, something bad, something bad could happen on 9-11 in the future. That's true. Stop whatever the next one is. Hey, is it uh, forbidden or bonus points if there's a bunch of extra bodies in here? Um, can you, you'll be able to see in the window, is that correct? When the door yes. is shut? Yes. Bonus. Bonus. Okay. Yeah, it's a big bonus. God, this is a good plan from a smart gamer named Leo. <laughs> Speaking of smart guys, uh, I see someone in the chat here, uh, LazyCon, who says, any version of younger self, I would tell them to diet and exercise. And yeah. yes, that is a good one because it, it's, I mean, obviously it only gets harder as you get older. And so like, if I would have just taken it more seriously and like learned that stuff better when I was younger, it probably would be way easier to just kind of stick with it as you got older. I would uh, say to myself, uh, start cooking. It's not as intimidating as it seems. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I love it. I didn't start yeah. doing it until like this year, really. Or last year. I'm debating if since I'm a guy with a house now, if I should get one of those grills in the backyard and then I can be the like grill guy, guy back there flipping burgers and wearing a dumb hat, you know? That everyone, could be fun. Everyone loves the grill guy. I kind of want to be a grill guy. So yeah, eat grape. Nicely done. Thank you. Nicely done. Did you ever play Grape Escape? The uh, This is probably way before your time. The board game? <laughs> no. Oh, man, you should look up an old commercial sometime. It was a brilliant idea. Like, you know, like Mousetrap, how it was, uh, you know, kind of this physical, like, uh, contraption Rube Goldberg type deal? Yeah. So imagine a similar thing where it's like a board game with a bunch of like physical contraptions and stuff like that but your character you form in a clay mold at the beginning of every game so it comes with like a bunch of play-doh and you squeeze it into a grape playing piece so you're like a, 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 a like a california raisin type thing what do they call it not animatronic but uh anthropomorphic grape and then if you <laughs> land on a bad thing you put your grape in like a torture rack or something and it like tears your clay man apart, like your grape. So it's like, they're getting like guillotined. They're like chopping your grape's head in half and stuff. And that's how, uh, you know, you did something bad in the board game. Cool. Your smashers. Yeah, it's like a Hitman level. Yes. I wasn't sure this guy was gonna come for this, but I wanted him out of the picture. This is so good. This is so good. This is working great, actually. <laughs> I'm only worried about getting the waiter outfit and then praying to God that they go to the right bathroom. Well, I want you to, uh, like, this pile of bodies you're making right now is going to be the table, so please set the bottle of wine on top of the body pile and then set the couple uh, kind of on opposite sides. That's... You have a beautiful vision, and I can tell you're a romantic at heart. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Okay, I'm going to make a new save here, too, because we're going to want to blow up these bodies, even if I do have to mm -hmm. And, it, and in a way, this is kind of full circle, huh? From the first challenge in Dubai. Yeah, When you it is. pull up the bodies of the fun bonus. It's, it's poetic, and it's almost like I knew you were going to take this path. <laughs> I, I didn't, but I'll take credit for it. But it is almost like that. It, it is. Oh, where'd everyone go? Hmm, it must be lunch break time. <laughs> I am proud of myself. You should be. You should be. Thank you. By the way, I'm mad at myself at not thinking of doing the YouTube playlist thing that you did for both of our things because I forgot you can make playlists from other channels and just not yours. So, and like, you can just put both of them on there. You know what? You can either make it yourself or you can put our playlist on your channel, on your front page. You can host your own so other people's playlists. Do a couple too. clicks. A couple just, clicks and I'm good. It's just a couple clicks away. No, I'd be a fool not to. Exactly. These prices... Okay, well, you see someone... that Apple uh, Apple podcast is changing their button from subscribe to follow 
because they there's just a big study i think I, I think it was apple that did the study but 47 percent of the public thinks that it costs money to subscribe to podcasts interesting yeah people are dumb hey well they no that's too harsh my dad no my dad's a smart man and he doesn't listen to podcasts because he thinks it's going to give his phone a virus <laughs> that's that's a smart guy way to well, approach it depends on the podcast it's true what chat says most subscriptions cost money i mean yeah yeah right. yeah you know what I, I i retract my people i mean people are dumb but like not specifically for that hey, 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 hey. now why did you see me do that no one makes it's you think him, really i did that yeah, that's a you problem. And chat says, to be fair, subscribe is money on Twitch. And I guess you subscribe to a magazine that costs money. And, you know, maybe that was a mistake from the beginning to say subscribe to a podcast. <laughs> that's what I'm learning. You know what? The Cabernet is on you, pal. Ooh, mm. Okay. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Glad no one heard that. This is going smoother than I expected. I think... The biggest risk at this point is going to be getting the couple out. I think once you get the couple like down these stairs, you're good because you kind of cleared the area. Yeah. I think it's going to be getting them out of the party area. Yes. It really needs to go exactly how I'm praying it does. <laughs> yes. Just serving yes. them the drinks and everything. Yes. There's my gun. Got a lot of stuff now. It's hard to find my gun. Body pile. Body pile. Okay. Mmm. We were doing the chores, so now we can have the recreational activity, baby. Yes. If you get what I'm saying. Um, the wine and murder? Yeah. Nice little What's picture in picture there? of, uh, I think that's related to the mission story I didn't follow. Oh, they just got tired of waiting for you? Yeah, right. Okay. Okay. Now is where you gotta get crafty. Yes. Oh, and I do have a lot of extra rat poison too, if this doesn't okay. work as intended. That was my question. That couple is still there, still waiting. This waiter is bad at his job. Alright. If this works, this is genius. As it turns out, family is strong. Right in my hands. I love how cartoon poison that is. Wait, there was a serve. Oh, yep, yep, yep. There's a serve, serve icon, but not on the exact couple oh. I wanted. Well, hey. But on those, those two back there. A couple that never met. Oh, okay, those <laughs> two, they're talking. Those two are a couple for sure. Yes, yes, they, they totally work. I don't think I know you were talking to him. Yeah. Hopefully that lady stays hey, thirsty. you! Oh, thanks. With the beard. <laughs> Who is the Glowing guy? wine. Who Drink is the, the smartest man in the world or the most interesting guy? Was that Dos Equis? The Dos Equis guy, What's yeah. wrong with me? Yeah. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be sick. Okay, now grab the uh, the lady before she gets concerned by his poop situation. I'm just going to... Oh, this is my worst nightmare. Oh. I can't believe they did me like this. That's, not, that's not ideal. Hitman. Never make him throw up in the trash. No one wants it. So it can be assumed that anybody served there is going to puke in the trash, right? Exactly. Barf. But these two are a couple. That is true. And that guy just stares at corpses all day. Ah. But there's not really a path through here. I don't know if I can break the glass. No. No. And dump them? And if you threw them down there, they would die anyway. Right. Okay. People in the chat asking if my dad would ever do a podcast, and he would love the idea of talking on one, um, but if any work was required at all, like if I even had to send him a file once, uh, he would <laughs> abandon ship immediately because he would think his computer was, uh, you know, hacked by Russians or something. Right. This is a couple. They're not far from the bathroom. They're not. Coins? Everyone likes coins. Everyone loves coins. I kind of don't. Yeah, coins like, are a problem. Okay. I like tokens. Tokens are fun for like an arcade. 
All right, that's... This is promising. That, that is a very promising start. Because that no guy is just as close. He is. You're making assumptions about his hearing ability. Yeah. He might not... Uh, you know, he's an older fella. And I don't want to kill him here. And I want to knock her out with the no. wine. No. Yes, you do. Oh, that's a bad way to go. That'll do. Stow you in here for now. And oh, look. Mm. Sink overfloweth once again. Okay, it's all right. No, she didn't on this. fix it. Who are you? <laughs> uh, um, That's sir? fine. That's fine. Bad timing. They might okay. like each other. No. That's no? a cop out. Okay. I won't okay. allow it. All right, all right. On, I appreciate it, but can't do it. He shouldn't even get the wine then. No. He'll get the shears. That's too dignified. Yeah, get the shears to the back of the head. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's even worse. Well, he's dead. He is dead. <laughs> you chill All in right. this room with the other useless people who get in my way. It's always good when you have numerous body piles. Do they still not notice blood in this game? Do they have master mode do. or something? Oh, maybe? It's kind of a weird thing. I would notice. There's your fella. Too. Oh, yes. You've got it. <sighs> We're gaming. Oh, my God. Yeah. This is fantastic. I think you've got this. I I don't want to speak too soon, but I don't know what would go wrong. I guess the At next hallway, I mean, you could get a random person rounding the corner. Well, me and the uh, the Discord yeah. folks were debating whether or not we should have the option of the party goers, because uh, some folks in the Discord were saying that like it might be too hard to do it this way. But I was like, well, <laughs> just the option, you know, having yeah. the option would be good. And uh, lo and behold. Because I did kind of soft lock myself out of doing it the other way on accident. Kind of, I doubt it's impossible, but it's probably very improbable uh, with the targets now. Yeah. Mm. The only choice left will be Pinot Noir or Cabernet. Because mm. I served them all back to that useless man who vomited in the trash. You're going to have to figure out where to put the bombs as well, because like... They will launch folks if the bombs are underneath bodies, but I think if they're on top, I think the physics are actually pretty good, and they would like they would flop around and stuff. But I think it would kind of like them into the floor. Yeah, for sure. So, I'll maybe move the bodies to put the explosives in a better spot. Okay. It needs to be done. Oh yeah. What? What? <laughs> you know what? I think I've heard about that happening. What the fuck? Wow. I think I set something in motion. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Also, I am That's... not messing with that guy. Okay, he's looking away. You can dump people into the thing of graves, but I don't think you can push them in because it wouldn't knock them out. But you right. can hide a body in there. Which is cool. And if I did it, I would be so screwed. It's interesting uh -oh. it says dump eliminate, though. Hang on. The master says Diana might be in trouble. Oh, oh my god. Leo. Right. <laughs> this. <laughs> okay. You want to save now? Okay, I will. But I'm This is this is fine. Okay. I need to get back to my uh, good outfit. Where did I get this waiter outfit? It's at the bottom. It's in the lower place, so that'll be where I'm sneaking in anyway. <laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious. <laughs> 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 now you got a countdown though this is even more exciting this is the finale can't let people down after a countdown i had to literally say i don't know what could go wrong <laughs> and then a countdown pops up it's 10 minutes that's generous but here's the thing i could probably do this in under 10 minutes right that's what i'm saying we're not going to stop diana we're going to do this in under 10 minutes you don't need to beat the mission. You just got to serve him the wine. No, but if up. Diana dies, I'll fail the mission and I won't be able to do it. Oh, yeah, that's the problem. You, you've right. got 10 minutes to do this. I see. Yes, oh, we're so on the you same page now. Like I was worried I was going to go stop Diana from dying first and then do this. But no, I this think is you just better. do this in the 10 minutes. This is much better for sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go right for the next body because I don't know exactly what my timeline will be for arranging the other bodies to blow up better. Well, you know, we'll save once you get the other one down here, and then we'll, you know. I'll save scums are allowed here uh, for the finale at the end. Um, so I don't know if you want to do just the. I'll just say this. 
you get the body down there into the room, I will count it as like, look, there's nothing that's going to get in the way of it then. So take your time arranging the bodies and stuff like that. You've got it. Okay. You're going to, I think you're going to have plenty of time. I think I might. Yeah. I don't see any way you don't satisfy the requirements of this challenge here. Truly incredible, though. <laughs> that's that is really good time. If that would have happened a while ago, you would have been kind of fucked. I that would have been horrible. Amazing. <laughs> this game. Yeah. I only wish that the weird challenges we have for each other could be made in the contract creator. Yeah, see, I've never even like dipped my toe into that. Uh, it seems like you can do some cool stuff with it, but. It's, it's just not... only around kills and how you kill. So all the stuff we do with pacifying people in funny ways or killing people in specific places, you can't yeah, do that Yeah, or like, stuff. you know, click and drag to select a bunch of people to party and requirement banana contact, you know, something like that. Yeah. Or hide body here, you know, paint like a, a green area of, of, of the map. Right. Like, that would be amazing. And this game has the systems to, to be worth infinite community content like that yes yes but what are you gonna do well chat for the bet purposes i feel like if he gets the body in there like there's no other obstacle so are we fine with saying he did it and then we just do our best to, to arrange the bodies in time are you serious uh... okay it's this guy he's a lone hero this is fine oops <laughs> Okay, that's fine. That's, that's fine. fine. That's, that's fine. fine. One more body for the pile, baby. Okay. So maybe you, hmm. I just want to make sure the, the folks that bet are, are okay with this. Are satisfied, clearly, yeah. you have it. You have it. Because we can always do the thing where we save, you do it real quick to satisfy the bet, cash it out, and then you can go back and really, uh, you know, take your seven minutes. You know what? I think I've got it. In this All seven right. minutes. It's all or nothing, baby. All right. That's so funny. That guy saw that. Oh he did God, seem like the last one I probably should have gotten rid of first. Well, is there one more out there? I know there's two guards. The first one I already no, got rid he... of. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Because of screwing something up earlier. Ended up working great. Man, you pulled this off very well. This is truly the one of the proudest achievements of my Hitman career. This is, uh, and we needed this after I've, I failed so, uh, you know, disastrously. Oh, it's, uh, it we, was we a need, tough challenge. This. I was still stupid about it. <laughs> Keep them all alive if you can. You, can put, you want to put all the bombs on the vent? That's a good, good idea. That's a good, okay. good idea. So, can we do the save now? Yes. So okay. the CX at the bottom, right? Um, I don't know if that matters. I typically dropped all three, so I just did the, like, down, down, down to drop all three. Yeah. Um, if you want to do the place thing, yeah, sure. I, I always forget that's an option. And then put the CX there. Oh, yeah, they're going to blow up. They're going to blow up. Big time. Big and time. And then it'll keep the thing in your hand. Oh, yeah, that's that's a packed little punch right there. Oh, it's really letting me do that. That's great. Yeah, that's that's a spicy meatball right there. Now, will this move that stuff? Not really. Great. No, they're placed. You put the glue down. <laughs> oh man, this this is beautiful. Gorgeous. And I'll do the Five wine and the couple last. Man, this is excellent. You're gonna have plenty of time. <laughs> you can have a chat before you blow it up. Yeah. I wish there was a way you could wake them up. So if you like nudge them both on the shoulder and then leave and lock them in and they're just like, what the fuck happened? Yes, I wish that too. There's wines here, I guess. Wow, it didn't even take that long to get all these bodies on here. This is great. Oh, Adam Walker, he's still with us? My brother, you ready to cash out this bet? Oh, it's getting cashed out. All right, so that's one, right? And then the, the guy in the suit's the other. Yep, okay, yeah. then she's there. And do we give him the Cabernet or the peanut? That is your call. I'll just put it right between them, where they're going to be. <laughs> no room to place it, the game is, is insisting. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just drop it with that? Yeah, yeah. okay, they're perfect. Perfect. Okay. Oh All right, God, this, this gentleman. Perfect. This is the other 
member of the that's couple. the guy yeah that's that's one of the dates yep all right <laughs> how's that it's beautiful it's like lady in the tramp <laughs> Okay. I'm going to save this just yeah. for me. All right, Adam Walker in the chat's ready. Get ready to hit that big button. Beautiful. And if we can't see well enough, I'll reload that save and we'll do it with the freezer door. Yeah. Open. All right. A toast to all of your futures. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh they're all extremely dead. <laughs> Wonderful. And you know what? I'm just going to do it just for fun. We're going to do it with the yeah, door Yeah, yeah. Keep the door open. And then you should just launch someone, too, just because it's fun. Okay. <laughs> Leo, that was masterfully done. Oh, thank you so much. My God. What a great challenge. Did you see that? Yeah, all the bodies just re-ragdolled when I loaded. Weird. Weird. Gotta make sure you're all nice and on top of the explosives. <laughs> Can't be having that. God, that was great. They all definitely died. I, <laughs> I wouldn't survive it. No. All right, Arrivederci. Wow. <laughs> 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 that is awesome. Yeah. The way they bounce off the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. Well, because so the thing good. is, like, you go do this with someone outside. Go do it to someone at the party, and they will just like launch across the map. It is beautiful. You know what? It's like, I will go do mercenaries to as much. Yeah. Yeah, Play mercenaries is great. Like, yeah, yeah. If you stack like you know eight C fours or whatever, and you wait for a car to drive over it, it just launches it into outer space. Like, I love that. That's wonderful. All right, Leo. If you're gonna launch one guy to end the series, I, I trust you to choose. The, the funniest guy that's going to fly the farthest. I kind of want to do one of the people at the on stage. You know what? In For closure for you, I want to get the piano player. Thank you. Thank you. I Excellent. Want to be dealt with. That's very, very appropriate. <laughs> I have found, uh, I've done some tests. If you place them, if he's sitting at the piano, if you place it on the ground to his left, all of them there, uh, he'll, he'll get some air. Okay. Okay. Dan, you streaming after I, this? Am I going to raid you again? Um, If I do, it's not going to be immediately. I got to figure out what the fuck's going on with my computer, but uh, I'd say there's a 30 to 40% chance that uh, maybe I'll do a go live notification. We'll see. Okay, but not raidable. Uh, not raidable, no. Box uh, playing Loop Hero in the other room, and I want to go check in on that and see how that is. I've heard uh, a lot of hype. Yeah, we played it on uh, The Great Goaty Hunt, the new show oh. plus today. We played, you like it? Uh, it was fine. I get why people like it, but I, I don't really like yeah. auto battlers like that. They're not quite mm -hmm. as involved as I like. Gotcha. But There's cool, our man. man. There's our man. This has been a very fun series, Dan. This has been. This was uh, this was excellent. Uh, I've always wanted to work with you more, and this was a excellent way to uh, to give that a shot. I, I would happily play and stream more games with you later. Yes, we will find a way. Find oh, an opportunity. Oh, geez. I've never tried on, on his the ass? actual seed. Well, because I was always just doing the drop from my hand thing. I don't know what right. to expect here. If this is going to launch straight up. Oh, no one's even mad. No. All right. Oh, God, what is this going to look like? This is for my friend Dan. <laughs> oh, he didn't go that far, I guess. <laughs> Wait, what happened? But he got his friend. Give that an old reload. Try the thing on the, on the ground, because that'll definitely give him the, like, down, you know, like... Like the physics will send them up in the air. Okay, I will. I should have saved right before that, but yeah, right. what are you gonna do? That's fine. You got the you got the bombs. One more victory lap. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, we'll be thinking about what makes sense. Hitman makes a whole lot of sense uh, as, as we both like the series a lot, and there's so much room for goofiness. Uh, I, I like the idea of there being a, a fun hook to uh, to things that we want to do. So let's just uh, we'll keep our ears and eyes open. Yeah. And we should do something on my uh, personal channel, too. I would love to. Twitch I'm a fan of it. LeoVader.com, D-O-T-C-O-M. Please. Please. <laughs> and I again, if you. you missed any of these eight streams, 10 streams, 
because five twelve five episodes twice ten 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 yes it's ten yes those are all on youtube.com slash minmax show there's a playlist there it's got them all in one indeed and now we'll say goodbye as we launch this poor man <laughs> he knows what he did <laughs> oh i overwrote that perfect save that was oh smart, no but... i wonder if an auto would be like right before it i hope so so like i do it on the ground to the left like okay because you want him going him, like... that type of direction exactly like you can send him over the railing over the entire party okay and i'll get a wider wanted... vantage point now yeah i hope he doesn't way. clip the the piano at that angle we'll see should it be right as he stands up and gets off? Um, I always did it when he was sitting. Okay. But I always did it like perpendicularly, like directly at his uh, nine o'clock, you know? Right. Here at, here at eight, eight o'clock here. Let's, let's see where he flies. Let's see where he flies. Advantage. Arrivederci, oh, my is, friend. He, he's the rocket man. <laughs> <laughs> Right to the center. <laughs> That's pretty good. I can't complain about that. Yeah, yeah. The party will remember that. <laughs> <laughs> That's notable. Yes, it is. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Thank you so much, everybody who bet on me to succeed with channel points or who bet on me to lose and learned a valuable lesson today. About gambling. <laughs> about gambling. Should have put that into Bitcoin 10 years ago. Exactly. Thank you for joining me, Dan. Of course, anytime. Great to see everyone. Bye. Content like this exists because of you. Thank you so much for subscribing on YouTube, sharing it with a friend, and especially for supporting MinMax on Patreon. Supporters at any tier on Patreon unlock access to MinMax's Discord, the friendliest place on the internet, where you can compete in game trivia every month to win prizes with our show Trivia Tower. Thanks so much for watching and sharing our stuff, everybody.